Hello, Psych2Go viewers. Our guest for today's live stream is Amanda Silvera. Amanda is a singer and voice actress with over 10 years of experience and the beloved voice of Psych2Go. Amanda has been an integral part of Psych2Go for over five years and blessing us with her soothing voice and spreading the word on mental health awareness. Welcome, Amanda. Thank you for joining us today. What an amazing intro. You're so good at this. Oh my God. Uh, well, you're you amazing at what you do, girl. <laughs> Bless. Thank you so much. So just for starters, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? Um, about myself. So my name is Amanda Silvera. I am one of the narrators for Psych2Go. Uh, my pronouns are she, her. This is Peter Pancakes, my dog back here. Um, <laughs> so cute. Yeah, he's a, he's a rescue. He is a little bit insane, but um, the best nonetheless. Um, as far as background goes, I don't know. Where do I go? I'm first generation Canadian. My parents are Jamaican. Um, so that's fun. I don't know. What do you want to know? Ask me questions. Um, so just for starters, um, what inspired you to go into like voice acting and even singing? Uh, so for singing, that was never a choice. That just kind of like started as soon as I could make noise. I was, Love I was singing that. and it was like a, it's one of my favorite like forms of therapy to this day. It just it just makes things feel better. Um, but voice acting and narrating was super random and unplanned, and really cool because like I believe in manifestation. I was always like the vision was that I got to work with a microphone and work with my voice. Mm -hmm. um, music end ended up kind of being something just for me. I mean, I still share it, but it's not like I'm not trying to like be a big superstar or anything. It's just it's all just like from the heart and for fun. Um, but I still get to make a living with my voice and with my microphone doing narration. But the way it came was literally through like a, a Craigslist post through Psych2Go mm -hmm. in the very beginning. They were just looking for voice actors and I was like, hey, can I try? Was this in 2017? I mean, maybe it was a long, it feels like it was a million years ago. Everything before COVID though feels like a million years ago. But yeah, I think 2017 sounds about right. All right. Okay. And then, um, so I love your actual, your music covers. I think I heard them before I even was with Psych2Go. I love like um, the singing. I wish they would bring that back. I'm not sure if they've, I think it's been a while, but they haven't done like the singing in a minute. I think, I think that we could bring that back. It's kind of like a lot of the time I would, um, I would just do a cover and I'd be like, Hey, like, how do you feel about this? Can we share it? So I think it's kind of on me to get back into it and i think that they'd probably be happy to share but we'll see that's awesome let's do it soon <laughs> and then <laughs> what do you think of psych to go's legacy what do you think the site what, what do you think the legacy is and what is the impact you feel they've made for mental health awareness legacy what um what a big word um i think one of the one of the most beautiful things about having psych to go is that you have this way of communicating for yourself. Like you can just kind of share a video when you're unable. Oops, technical difficulties, guys. Sorry about that. All right, sorry. <laughs> no um, problem. Weird, it was a call coming in. I, that shouldn't happen. Um, but yeah, it gives you the ability to communicate um, when you maybe can't find the words or during, you know, stressful or, vulnerable um, moments, you can just be like, hey, hey friend, hey mom, hey dad, hey whoever, hey world, um, this is kind of how I'm feeling. But then also the, the community in the chat, the validation that that brings to find other people that feel the same way as you or relate to you, you just, suddenly you don't feel so much like an alien. And these videos will be there forever, so we'll always have that. And I think that that is, that is the legacy. It's just, it's brought people together. It's made conversating about difficult things not so, what's the word? Stigmatized. Exactly. Just, yeah. 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 So it's sort of like Psych2Go is, has made it so that people are more comfortable to talk about like mental health topics, especially on YouTube and the internet. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. And that's huge. That's everything. Yeah. We're all like every single one of us, we have, life is, life is hard. Existing is hard. And it was, it was just kind of not a thing to talk about 
those deeper things. And so, so many people just thought they were, they were alone and that maybe they were broken or something was wrong with them. And it's like, so many of us are going through the same thing in our own way. And psych to go makes it so that we, you know, we know. Absolutely. I agree. It's like psych to go has brought this community together yeah. and people feel more comfortable and can like speak out. And I think it's inspired other content creators for sure. Like psych to go is a pioneer yeah. for sure. Yeah. Cause they've been around since like 2014. Yeah. I've definitely seen some like, you know, similar, similar versions. Um, but there's no, there's no replacing psych to go. Yeah, their psych to go will be immortal. Your voice will be immortalized. Like, isn't that crazy? Like a hundred years from now, people are gonna be listening to you. <laughs> you think? I don't know. I mean, Absolutely. I guess I mean, I guess for psych to go. What's crazy to me is like eleven million subscribers at this point. That's like That's twenty-two amazing. million years. Like, what the heck? Like, what the heck? It's almost scary. It's like I gotta protect this thing. It's insane. Well, yeah, you, it's like gold, right? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I your words, not mine. <laughs> it is, you. though. But I mean, I just think that is pretty amazing. I think like in the history of YouTube years from now, we're going to be like decades from now, people will be learning about psych to go in school. I hope. <laughs> I hope. Yeah. 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 I love the way that they did it, too, like with the, the cartoons and making sure that the the voices matched up and, and just everything is aligned in a way that just makes it so digestible. You know, and we hit on topics that like oh, sometimes we almost shouldn't get away with, but we do because we do it with respect and we do it thoughtfully and with love and, you know. Yeah. And Psych2Go really is a creative team of animators, script writers, yes. you, like the executive team behind everything. It's like amazing. It's this huge, amazing, talented team. It's yeah. And that's the other thing that makes Psych2Go just its own thing is the, the team and how much everyone involved cares. And there is so much that goes on behind the scenes. You know, that's that's not the case for all YouTube channels. That definitely isn't the case for, for the majority of YouTube channels. But like, this is a whole production. Um, yeah. Yeah. And we're always trying to bring up the best topics and we're always listening to our viewers to see what they want to do, you know, what they want to see next. So 100%. definitely. Yeah. yeah. And moving on to a similar point. So what's one of your favorite videos that you've worked on? I don't know. I <laughs> just like thousands. <laughs> <laughs> like how many have I, when I look at my Google drive and I just like scroll through all of the freaking voiceovers that I've done, like it's crazy, but I genuinely, I really enjoy so many of them. I guess the ones that really hit home for me are some of my favorites. Um, you know, dealing with a trauma, healing, neuroplasticity. Like I'm such a nerd. I love the brain. And I think that there's so much, um, there's so much power in just like taking back your autonomy and really just understanding how the brain works, why it's doing what it's doing. And um, where, how am I here? How did I get here? Why am I saying this? Where did we start? Yeah. No, that's, that's definitely true. It's just, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. You asked me what my favorite one was. Um, right. Uh, there were a few where I got to like, like mess with my voice a little bit and like put effects on my voice and like play the role of Psy and stuff like that. That was, those are, those are always really fun. Just kind of outside of the box recording. Thank you, Hendrick. Um, he just donated and he just, um, he just uh, wrote a super sweet comment. I just wanted to put it on the on the main chat. Glad I'm subscribed to your channel. I've taken your advice regarding battling depression to make me a better person. Can't recall if you've made a video about curbing a temper. I'm not sure if we have, but thank you, Hendrick. That's really sweet of you. Curbing a temper. That would be it. That would be it. would good... be great. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Thank you, Hendrick. And, and props to you for fighting the good fight. Right. <laughs> And so what's one of your, so I asked that already. And so what topics or projects would you like to see psych to go cover in the future? And that includes ask an expert advocate. You know how we have like guests on different like doctor psychologists, anything that you want to see in the future? I want to see us talk to Andrew Huberman for one. I, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, he was the first person that I saw talk about the physiological side and we did a few little um, videos on our channel about that, but it's just such a powerful tool. And he has all of these like 
these protocols and tools that you can carry with you for the rest of your life that just make things better. And it's not like just do this. It's do this because this happens and then this happens and you know it, it just explains. Or he gives you the he gives you the information that you need in order for it to make sense and click so that you'll keep doing it. A lot of the time I think that we get tools, but do we stick to them? No. Not usually. <laughs> no. Yes. And so with that being said, let's move over to the audience questions. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> okay. So let's start. So Prophet asks, when are you going to do cooking videos, like videos on like recipes and food? When am I going to? That's assuming if I'm going to. to. <laughs> if or when. <laughs> oh, so respectful. Um, yeah, it's definitely going to happen. I love cooking. That's that is definitely like up there with with singing and all the other forms of art. It's like it's painting with food and it's it's food that then goes inside of somebody, which is like it's kind of, you know, it's beautiful. So, it'll happen. It's just like it's a big process. Uh, making my own videos on my channel, like it's a whole thing. Which by the way are linked in the description. Uh you can find Amanda's YouTube channel and IG. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Come to my, come visit. Come say hi. Thank you, Ray. So Ray said, thanks for doing this. Not in your comfort zone. Seeing the voice behind these videos provides a nice perspective as well. And he donated. So thank you, Ray. Thank you, Ray. <laughs> I would love to do like a cooking with psych to go That would actually be really cute if we could get like a little studio for it. Like just, you know how like you did the music, maybe having like videos of cooking just like to like for people to relax, de-stress. I mean, yeah, but also like food is food is a, a major, it plays a major role in mental health as well. Yes, absolutely. So doing recipes that could support could support our brain health would actually be pretty cool. That's that's a, that's a really good idea. Definitely. And Scholatic asks, because I think the viewers really just want to get to know you on a personal level. So he asks, what are your hobbies? My hobbies? Um cooking. I, yes. mm -hmm. yeah, cooking. I, I love nature so much. I am quite the like loner. I, I really, really like my alone time, um, especially in nature. So this time of year, spring and summer, I just, I just like to be wherever it's green and wherever there are not, not too many people. <laughs> No, I definitely, I love nature too. I like to write poetry about like nature. It's just amazing, you know, God's gift to the earth. <laughs> write some poetry and I'll read it. Oh, awesome. It. Or you, I mean, you have a pretty cool voice too. You could do it yourself. Thank you. It's not soothing though. It's a little bit like, eh, I don't know, but. <laughs> That's debatable. We all have our, our, our flavors. Right. Thank you, Wealth Building Journey, for that donation. And then someone asked, Julian asked, has Amanda ever done ASMR videos? Her voice is so relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> this, this has been a request from the very beginning. ASMR videos freak me out. They're just so close. I feel like I don't want to be one of these people, but like I'm highly sensitive and it's just so much. So I've tried. I tried one time to do ASMR and um, the microphone wasn't on the whole time. So I was just like on camera, like up close to this microphone that wasn't on for like a long, a long time. It was, it's up. I posted it nonetheless, because it was actually pretty funny, but maybe I'll try again. I need suggestions though. Like, do I just, do I just talk? Do I, what do I do? What do you want me to do? <laughs> Yeah, did it? Um, yeah, I think that like maybe doing like this, the noises, you know, like what people. <laughs> some of them, some of them are really cool though. I can see like when, you know, when you're in the the mood, the mood for it. Like when you the ones that are like in character. Like I think I saw like a flight attendant one. It takes you away. I get it. I get the appeal. I'll try. Maybe no promises. So yes, I agree though. <laughs> Trying to find a few more. And then um, let's see. Oh, I just wanted to show this comment of Justin. Thank you for everything you saved me from uh, suicide and helped me with so many other things. Thank you, Justin. Okay. We love you. <laughs> we love you so much. Yeah. Wow. So proud of you. 
Someone wrote, let me see the name. Ken wrote, do you think you might write a book for mental health? I could definitely see you making one. That's a good question. Uh, mm. uh, I'm, hmm. I might write a book about like, like my life. Like it's pretty juicy. There's a lot of, a lot of tea working in the yes. industry <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, you live and you learn. So maybe I could share personal experiences, but I'm not a professional. So as far as like a book on mental, I've, I'd have to probably go educate myself like substantially before doing anything like that. But a book, I could see a book happening one day in general. A book in general, that would be awesome. Yeah, it seems like a lot, though. I can barely read sometimes, just focusing, you know? Mm -hmm. And then Wield asks, Psych2Go has helped me feel better about being an introvert. How did you find your voice? I, I was born with it. <laughs> um, <laughs> actually, I think that the reason why my voice might be, like, might have its appeal or might be soothing is because of being an introvert and because I was always, I've always had a fear of, I'm working on it and actually it's it's not the same as it was, but I've always had a fear of making, making too much noise. Um, I've always been so conscious of everyone around me. I never wanted to disturb anyone living in an apartment. I don't want to disturb my neighbors. I've always been a very soft-spoken and quiet person. And that's not always a good thing. Um, you definitely need to stand your ground and, um, and, and, make space and hold your space but because I'm just always so conscious about like other people um I've my voice is just that's what it is it's it's soft because I don't want to I don't want to be abrasive I don't want to hurt your ears I don't want to hurt anybody in any way and by the way that's rare like just that softness and kindness you don't see that a lot most people think they have to be like super abrasive so it's a breath of fresh air definitely <laughs> I, I always wanted that though i always wanted to be that person i'm surrounded by people that are like that and i'm like why can't why can't i be that but you know i love me i love me more and more each day we love you too <laughs> And then Nan asked, and thank you for the donation, by the way. It's always nice to see you, Amanda. I'm glad to see you and Mr. Peter Pancakes, too. How is the tree saved going? Will you be doing any more readings of any books? Personally, I miss the stories. I'm proud of you, Amanda. That's so sweet. Oh, my gosh. Um, where do Can you read that again? Where do I start? Yeah. Um, I'll start with the questions. Um, how is the tree you saved going? Will you okay. be doing any more readings of any books? Personally, right. I miss your stories. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the tree is doing phenomenal. I went, there's this tree that was falling over a couple years ago and I just like, I brought everyone on the on the ride trying to like get it to stand up and then make sure it stayed stood up and then make sure it didn't die and it didn't die. And it's, um, it's sprouting now. There's like new growth. So that's amazing. Wow, I love that. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. Um, and then the stories. I don't know, man. I tried. I tried really hard. There, It's still up and available on my channel. I don't know for how long. It's so embarrassing. I tried to do like all the different characters with their own voices, males, old ladies, um, all also British. <laughs> so they all had accents. <laughs> they all have accents. You can still go and watch and listen. But um, I don't know how long they're gonna stay up, so so do it quick. If I'm gonna do it, do I think I'll do it again? I mean, if it's maybe if it was like a paid a paid job. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know. I'm not great at it. Evan said you will probably not read this, but thanks for everything. We read it, Evan. <laughs> Evan. <laughs> okay, and then let me. I think we're gonna do two more questions. So. Um, Elijah asked, could you see yourself making a film on depression and how to cope with it? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've made quite a few already. If you come over to my channel, um, I do a lot of like ram random rambles, I call them, and random readings. Sometimes, the, so what the readings are is I'm reading like literal journal entries, just sharing them out. I'm like literally an open book. Um, but I make like little short films just about the journey and about the ups and the downs. And, you know, it's not linear. We all, we all have our own versions of it, but there are also similarities that we can all relate to. So, um, and I add music and stuff. I try to just make it really soothing because light, the world isn't. 
so I try to just make it a place where it is. So come check it out. I'll be making more for sure. Awesome. I just wanted to share this amazing comment by Ken. He said, my school actually put on psych to go multiple times in my classrooms. I felt so happy when they put it on. That's amazing. Wow. Oh my God. That is so freaking cool. I that's, love that. That's so cool. That makes my heart like do things. We're in schools. Wow. We definitely, I, I, I pretty much, I can guarantee we probably are, but now we are confirmed, right? <laughs> it, yeah. Yeah. That's, but that's perfect. Like that's where it belongs, you know? Exactly. It's educational, but entertaining. And so then yeah. one more question by pilot, Amanda, what MBBTI personality are you? Uh, I, I always forget. And I've actually seen like websites or like chat threads where people discuss what my MBTI type is. And um, yeah, so you guys know better than I do. Maybe someone in the chat can let let you know. But I always forget. Um, I remember what she looks like. It's like one of the little pixie ones and she's like green. Whoa. I don't know. I, I always forget. I don't know. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Amanda. This was amazing. We love having you on. Like people were already talking about the live stream before it even happened. Like, I want to see her. She's beautiful. I love her voice. So thank you. We appreciate you so much. Thank you. You're for amazing. Me. Thank you so much. I love you all like deeply. I hope you can hear it in all the voiceovers. I try to fill them with as much love as I can. And honestly, um, it's important to have these types of conversations and answer audience questions because it's mental health awareness month. So we always need to do it, but especially during the month of May, always. <laughs> yes, indeed. So it's great that we did this as we wrapped up the month. We squeezed exactly. it in there. <laughs> right, exactly. And so thank you everyone for joining us today. It was amazing. Thank you, Amanda, for being here with us. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you for being a wonderful host. Bye. Of course. Bye, everyone.